Hello and welcome to our week nine episode of Tuesdays with Tim Camp. The Mountaineer football team headed over to Butte, Montana, where they fell 23-10 to to Montana Tech in a, in a cold game, a tough game defensively. And, and we're joined by head coach Tim Camp. And, and coach, you know, both, te- both teams' defenses seem to be in top form in this game with neither offense able to top 300 yards what made this game such kind of a defensive battle and a game of field position? Well, what we wanted to do is we wanted to turn it into an ugly game, which I, I think we did. Um, you know, we, we knew that they wanted to run the football, and that, that's exactly what we wanted to do as well. And, you know, I was very, very proud of our defense. You know, I, I kept telling the team, you know, all week long, you know, the, the style of offense and what we're doing, uh, get, get us to the fourth quarter, right, and give us a chance. And, and, and they did that. You know, it was uh, 16 to 10, um, with about eight minutes left, and we had the ball, so we had we had an opportunity. That's two weeks in a row that our defense has put us in a position to uh, win the football game, and offensively we fell short. Uh, the kids played very very hard, you know, and, and it was a good game, uh, with the exception of 171 yards offensively is not what I'm about. And you know, I take, don't take anything away from uh, you know Montana Tech because they have a very good defense, one of the top in the conference. But at, at the same time, we got to be able to be productive. And and, and be able to move the ball when we have it um, in critical situations like that. But at, at the same time, it was uh, their run game against our run game, and uh, our defense was able to step up for the entire game with the exception of that, that final drive, you know, and that was, uh, you know, we, uh, we were able to uh, block a punt on special forces, and, and then we kicked off to them, and they got the ball at, uh, I think, the 18-yard line, and they proceeded to drive the field. And, and that, was, that was something that, uh, you know, being that late in the game, I wish obviously we would have made some plays there to uh, give us an opportunity offensively to get the ball again and and, and try and go win the game. Yeah, You mentioned the special forces and the blocked punt return for a touchdown by Josh Mendoza, uh, who was named the Frontier Special Teams Player of the Week this week. Um, Obviously that play is a a culmination of a lot of different parts moving, not just the touchdown return. But, uh, right. but the block as well. But what did you think of the play with the special forces overall? Well, yeah, I, th- I thought we were close to t- a couple times before, and a couple players said, hey, you know what, Coach, I'm having a hard time bending right here. I can't get there, but hey, if we put Derek over there. So it was just feedback from the players, you know, being able to, to get the guys in the right spot. So I was very, very proud of that. And then, you know, Derek Fontenot come through there, and he was unblocked, and, you know, we work on scoop and score, and, you know, it, uh, it really uh, changed the, the uh, momentum for that football game. You know, now again, you know, late the uh, middle of the fourth, you're, you're down 16 to 10. Can and and with 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 a chance to do something, so it, it it was uh it was exciting. You know the kids, like I said, they just kept playing. You know, and I think that's what a sign of a, a team that's uh you know got some grit to them. And you got to be tough in the Frontier Conference to to be in games like this. You know, it's uh it's something that we want to come out with a win, but at the same time, I'm going to try and find some positives. And uh, there were several positives throughout the the course of the game, offensively, um not not as much, but defensively and special forces you know there there was a lot well you move on to host uh, i-84 rival college of <coughs> idaho this saturday the yotes are still undefeated and ranked number seven in the nai but but what is it about this matchup you know that every time you face the coyotes or even the raiders um these rivalry matchups that makes it kind of anyone's game each and every year regardless of rankings or records well, I think it's what you said. It's a rivalry game. I think that uh, you know they're coming down here. You know we've been in that position m- multiple times, and they've 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 stepped up and played, and either either beat us or took us right to the very very end. And that that's the approach that we're going to take here too. You know, uh, th- this is another game for us. It's it's, it's a big time rivalry game just because they're so close to us, and you know there'd be nothing better than what we want to do is to knock them off. You know, and and to be able to uh, split the series with them uh, this year and, and to build and continue to work uh, towards what we're trying to get to and I, I think it's gonna it's gonna happen with hard work and dedication and commitment and being obsessed with with doing something great out there you know it, it's the way that you practice it's the way that you prepare yourself to go against the college of idaho team this frontier conference is tough you know from from top to bottom it, it, it's going to be um one of our teams is going to go very very far in the playoffs i do believe you know i'm trying very very hard to get two teams in right now and yeah we're, we're finding out that that's that's obviously 
tough over the years, but at the same time, to be able to play a college of Idaho team that's uh, ranked in, I, I think they're a top five team. You know, they're one of the better teams. They're senior heavy. Um, you know, it's very, very similar to the way we were in 2016. So they have playmakers, but uh, at the same time, we do too. And, you know, we're going into this game expecting to win. Yeah, well, C of I, as you know, at this point in the season, everyone knows they like to run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Uh, you can really pile up the yards on the ground. How do you uh, stop a team that does something so well like that? But you know, it's it's easier said than done to stop it. Stop a running game that's that uh, potent. Well, we've been we've been doing a, a much better job in the box, and I think it's your it's your it's your D line play, and I think it's your uh, uh, linebackers. You know, they got to be able to fit, and they got to be able to get and cancel gaps out, and they got to be able to make tackles. But you know what, C of I's been doing over the last couple of weeks. You know, they've had ten touchdown passes in uh, two games or three games, and uh, they're really trying to evolve their offense because people are loading the box on them and, and trying to stop that run game, which uh, creates some one on ones. And they've been able to they've been able to effectively throw the ball over. The last couple of weeks which i've been impressed by and you know those are those are things the concepts of what they do are very very similar to what we do um from a route concept you know but uh, at the same time it's going to be able to get uh, get after their quarterback and it's going to be able to cancel the gaps out and be able to tackle and be able to do the things that we uh we, we coach the guys to do each and every day you know so uh at the same time they're a more balanced attack right now and uh, we're, we're going to go into the game uh, obviously with the number one intention just like you said stop the run and make them throw and i think that's the kind of the idea what everybody else has had so uh in evaluating the game tape it's uh you know a balanced look right now but at the same time you know if they get something going they're going to try and stay at it so uh the the main focus is stopping the run and make them pass and you need to be able to tackle an open field and, and do the things that uh we feel comfortable doing uh defensively you know and so with the way our defense has been playing the last two weeks i feel confident that we're going to be able to get that done um and then offensively we got to keep the defense off the field. We got to sustain drives. We got to we got to put some things together that is going to uh, produce first downs and touchdowns. You know, and, and those are the those are the things we're working on offensively. And then in the special forces game, you know, we got to be able to take some shots. We got to be able to uh, do some things that are going to create momentum and, and field position uh, advantages for the Mounties. Well, Coach uh, C of I this weekend. <laughs> Saturday, 1 p.m., Community Stadium here in LaGrand, Oregon. We're excited to have you back home. Uh, good luck this weekend. Hopefully the weather a li- gets a little bit warmer for that matchup. <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be beautiful. It's sunny out there, so it would be a great day for a win.